and uh, thanks for joining in. This is the, uh, the virtual summit uh, on a virtual summit organized by Leap Media Solutions. It's it's on it's discussing the future of workspace transmission. So thank you all for joining in and uh, taking the time out from your uh, busy schedules. My name is Narayan, and I'm the editor in chief at CXODX, which is published by uh, Leap Media Solutions. So um, it, you know, it's it's obviously it's been a year of great transformation, great upheavals, and technology has played a huge hand in helping us, you know, uh, managing the change, wor working around the challenges, and continuing with the work, continuing with our work. So it's a, it has helped us to stay productive, and in the future, obviously, it's going to play a, a bigger role. So uh, before we uh, move ahead, I would like to introduce all the speaker, all the participants of today. So we have Dr. Mustafa Hassan Kurban, who is the ICT director at King Fahad Military Medical Complex. Mr. Mohammad Al Dosari, who is the CISO at Tashil Finance. Mr. Shivakumar Ganeshan, who is the head of IT at Arabian Shield. And Mr. Mahmoud Al Farhan, supply chain cybersecurity manager at Arab National Bank. We also were supposed to have Mr. Rock Arkezo, uh, IT director at Al Faisalia Hotel join us. Hopefully, he may be able to, but I think he's caught up a bit at his workplace. So, uh, we move on to the topic of discussion today. As I just mentioned, we have seen a lot of changes and uh, we have seen a lot of challenges. Organizations were not able to work uh, from the physical workplace. In, in 2020, a uh, lot of uh, the lockdowns which happened. And then you manage to, you know, work out a formula on a basis of, you know, some workforce beginning to go to the workplace. So, and we kind of, you know, started reworking our model towards work. So, I want to understand from each one of you, as you see it, you know, how it has transpired in the last one year. In 2020, the challenges that you face and how you, how your organizations, uh, organizations or, you know, uh, from your perspective are in the region, as you see, uh, how it is, uh, you know, how organizations have worked around the challenges. So let's start with just an overall uh, perspective from each one of you. So uh, Dr. Mustafa, if you want to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, can I, uh, can we hear your perspectives first? Ryan, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I think um, the, the idea of this uh, virtual conference is a bit I, uh, new uh, uh, about work workspace. Uh, in the healthcare domain, uh, as probably you know, the pandemic dictated uh, the lockdown, uh, virtual uh, distancing between people, and also in especially in healthcare and hospital, we tried to reduce the uh, the number of visit of patients, and we were at the same time the challenge is to provide the healthcare remotely. So uh, it it dictates a new paradigm of work space for the uh, for the hospital uh, uh, to provide the health care for their uh, patients and they say also uh, it uh, it made the communication between the patients who already admitted in the hospital uh, with their loved one and parents is uh, difficult so therefore it was a new type of uh, workspace for uh, a physician to provide remote health care uh, to uh, patient to be communicate uh, with their uh, uh, with their parents uh, remotely. At the same time, all the uh, non healthcare workers as well to pro uh, to work uh, from uh, from home. So uh, this is an unprecedented experience uh, for healthcare. Though uh, it was before the pandemic, uh, I, I'm I'm sure a lot of organizations started to work remotely. Uh, but uh, the pandemic, uh, I think, escalated this uh, and made it uh, made the adoption uh, even faster. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Mustafa. Yes, obviously, yes. Uh, uh, we were compelled to use more technologies, and you know, onboard newer technologies. So, uh, on that note, uh, may I hear from Mr. Mohammad Al Dosari his perspective on the whole thing, the change? Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, from my side as a financial institution and uh, work 
the transformation that's happened, it's very critical for uh, the banking and financial institution, especially if we are talking about money and customer details. So uh, shifting to work from home uh, within short period is very challenging for for the, the, the banks and also for the IT. So they can prepare uh, the environment, suitable environment for that. Uh, whoever is not planning for it before, they don't have business continuity plan in place, they will face a lot of challenges. Uh, but for, for example, our company was good to have uh, uh, technology in a place and a plan in a place uh, where the company is um, having a strategy of digital transformation, which is this transfer of work place transformation help us to speed up uh, the digital transformation. So uh, everything it's been done automatically and and uh, digitally from uh, customer <clears throat> customer onboarding to make the process of payment till uh, offering uh, the customer with with the ser uh, services plus even the documentation submit uh, documentation and the signature has been uh, done uh, digitally. For the end user, uh, of course, we have a challenge uh, on uh, the security perspective and privacy perspective on how to make sure that our data, the customer data is secured with, uh, for example, uncontrolled uh, assets like the Wi-Fi at home uh, or the connectivity is being used or who is in sharing uh, uh, the data at home. Um, so we work side by side with our employees to improve their awareness as a cybersecurity awareness and to having the connectivity, secure connectivity in the VPN and multi-factor authentication uh, in a place. So um, at the end, uh, the, the pandemic to give the poster to, uh, to us to speed up and to improve uh, our security level. That's Hello? it from my side. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I thought, that, yeah, okay. Thank you so much. You obviously you give a, a you know a very uh, extensive insight from the banking uh, and the banking uh, perspective. So we also have uh, uh, Mr. Farhan. He's also he's he's from the banking sector as well. So uh, can I hear you? Can you add to what uh, you know, uh, Mr. Dasari yeah. has already mentioned? Or actually, uh, actually, it yeah. was uh, during the pandemic. It was a big challenge to keep the business business running, uh, keep the business uh, part of the bank as. Uh, functioning as it should be and meeting the customer expectations uh, during this kind of uh, pandemic. Uh, fortunately, we do have uh, for us a disaster uh, recovery full plan has been tested many times during the last year uh, for the whole area of the bank. Uh, means we do have physical building uh, away from the head office with its own data center. It has been tested fully with uh, all the critical applications to meet the uh, uh, customers' uh, needs and expectation as well. So uh, when we started uh, uh, working during the pandemic, uh, we depend mainly on a VPN connectivity for the users to allow them to act and work from home uh, as if they are uh, in their uh, offices. Um, we also had another mobility solution from Microsoft. Uh, it was used uh, in a very minimum uh, uh, level, let's say, on uh, very uh, specific applications. Uh, but when, when we started this pandemic, uh, we find out that we may need to pay more attention to that uh, solution since it is secure, easy to use, and can be reached better than uh, the VPNs. So we pay more attention to that and we develop 
uh, more applications to be used by that uh, solution, the mobility solution. We reached like uh, more than 200 applications, uh, AMB applications uh, to be running on, on Intune. Uh, later on, uh, we, uh, we are going to have it as one of the disaster recovery uh, scenarios uh, the bank will uh, will act on it, do the test, full test on it, uh, to make sure that uh, the business is running as usual, uh, no effect on the uh, customers, no effect on the image. So uh, it gives maybe this pandemic gives uh, more uh, open-minded, uh, give the people and the management open-minded more. Uh, to to have uh, or to accept another solution which was not even uh, in the radar. So uh, we are we can say or I can say at, at AMB that we are in a very good shape. We are uh, ready for any kind of uh, uh, mobility. We will call it mobility uh, working from home. Uh, our environment is ready. Uh, our customer uh, expectation is met well, and uh, it is more pay attention now from the management side. They are paying more attention to such a mobility uh, solutions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Farhan. Uh, so, obviously, you brought in some other aspects uh, to this, uh, you know, uh, the uh, aspect of, you know, being, uh, m accessing through uh, mobility applications. Uh, so, Mr. Shivakumar, uh, can I hear from you in your sector how this is shaped up, you know, the challenges uh, and uh, the response to it? Can't hear. Can't hear you. Uh, you're muted here. Yeah. Sorry, it was mute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Narayan. Thanks for all. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to all, your, all the members. As I'm also blank to the same financial sector. Huh. But in the insurance part. Inter insurance, yes. Okay, it's, it used to be, you know, just optional before, like working from home or, you know, away from work. It used to be just optional and fancy thing used to be used to think like. Now it's become a part of the business model, actually. Because this pandemic really taught a lot of new, you know, ideas as well, how to handle this, you know, business continuity in an effective manner. Because hmm. now it is we, we we used to just like you know maybe one or two percent of the staff used to be uh, doing this only for the uh, emergency cases people can work from home, but now it's our business itself forcing them to work from home as 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 much as possible to reduce this kind of you know issues where you can stop the health issues which can spread as you, as you know what is happening around the world. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, yeah. yeah, a lot of things we have been just uh, for sake of doing, we've been doing it before. Now hmm. this become is a mandatory and we experienced live scenario how you can you know handle uh even though you are not in office, how you can full fledged support you can do it remotely. And it uh, anywhere in the uh, it's, it's become like practice as a you know anytime anywhere you can work from anywhere and you can do the business without any disturbance. Okay. It's been a uh, really big uh, challenge being uh, past two years, but a lot of things we overcome and smoothly managed. Bit hurdles were there due to this you know suddenly just like a flash flood is opened, you have to handle the situation. Now, past two years been well practiced, and all our staff, you know, the workforce, is ready to be in the situation. Even if it continue for more, uh, more than years, you know, years and years, if it continues the same situation, still we can handle. And uh, all this is the whole industry is uh, now uh, tuned to handle the situation. It's uh, this brought a lot of new technology very close to the business. Now reduce the uh, you know like uh, manual process, force everything in uh, in a digital form. So you don't need 
somebody to be physically present to do things, which can be handled uh, remotely as well. A lot of new ideas like for the call center management, we have a chat board and a lot of uh, IA integrated uh, facilities, which improve a lot of you know things in the uh, like a customer journey. It's a, really, it's a big. Um, this brought up uh, this pandemic situation brought up a lot of uh, you know thought process in place and put us in the uh, you know in, in a situation where he can manage in any kind of situation even if it comes later. Thank you, thank you, Shiva, uh, for a lot more of details there. Uh, Mr. Mustafa, uh, Dr. Dr. Mustafa, are you, are you? so uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, you know, uh, do do you uh, see the hybrid work model uh, continuing? Uh, you know, even once we are past the pandemic challenges, also, how do you see uh, from your I mean your part of the region? I think yes, it will continue. Uh, this is a very good question. Uh, there are some challenges uh, which. Uh, uh, which I need to highlight. Uh, there will be some organizational resistance to change. Um, as the, uh, our colleagues or the speakers this uh, has mentioned briefly, there is a need to migrate from the legacy application to the mobile application for more dynamic um, workplace. Uh, also, uh, data and of this application and security will be a major concern. Um, plus uh, issues with productivity and compensation, especially, uh, you know, uh, when their people are working uh, remotely. These are the things that I think uh, will um, maybe the governments and the policymakers will pay attention more so they can uh, uh, they can see the productivity of the especially when people are not around you don't know how they how they are doing at the same time there is a side effect maybe some people are doing more than the than uh, what people in the presence you are being fully occupied at home uh, day and night and uh, you are working even more than what you used to work as in the in the uh, workplace in the actual yeah. workplace so uh, this is uh, some of the drawbacks that uh, the, that and challenges that we will have when, after the pandemic. Uh, but definitely, the healthcare is moving forward uh, to adopt a new dynamic and hybrid uh, way of uh, conducting uh, their business. Um, uh, if we take into consideration these uh, issues that, that might arise, uh, other than that, it's I think everything will be. Uh, Moving forward, as you probably you know, uh, in the healthcare, uh, the telemedicine is we are we're there for a very long period of time, yeah. and maybe with this pandemic, it's uh, be, become the adoption. It's become uh, mandatory and become faster. Uh, but as I said, uh, there are a lot of uh, challenges around this uh, new hybrid uh, way of conducting the business, especially in healthcare. And this is also applied uh, to other, uh, whether it's a financial institution or other institution that will apply for other sectors as well. So uh, I think uh, uh, these are the most uh, uh, challenging things uh, uh, with the policymaker and regulation. If they can take uh, pay attention to it, I think we will have a very smooth, a smooth transition. Um, uh, in the, I'll give you an example. In our hospital, we have created uh, applications uh, and we moved from legacy system toward more mobile applications that will be used. We also uh, followed the other uh, what other people is following in providing a private VBN to uh, for our physicians to be able to uh, communicate with their uh, patients. Uh, but uh, the most important key here that uh, the infrastructure has to be ready uh, for such kind of solution. And this is will add an additional challenge uh, for the IT uh, people, uh, and they uh, and their and their strategic plan uh, will be uh, very very for for them. It's very going to be a very difficult one. Uh, as all of you know, that this pandemic has showed us uh, a lot of uh, a lot of ways of uh, how we can do our business, how we can be prepared. And uh, what we need to do uh, to do 
in order to provide such kind of services. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so obviously, uh, uh, you bring that uh, you know perspectives from the healthcare sector. Rest of them uh, are from uh, the financial sector. So good to hear uh, uh, you know, the the things that can be expected in the you know, healthcare sector uh, going forward. Uh, before I move on to the next speaker, I will just stay with you, and I want to ask you: uh, uh, Do you uh, do you see a lot of confidence in onboarding uh, cloud solutions? You mentioned cloud mobility applications, uh, but uh, from a healthcare sector, when do you think uh, the confidence is gone? It, it depends on the uh, and the provider of the cloud, you know. Uh, I think um, the uh, security and data security is a major issue for the uh, for healthcare. Uh, maybe the private cloud now has been adopted, but the public cloud is still uh, uh, there is a hesitation to adopt the uh, public cloud. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to move to the public cloud very soon, but I think it will be imminent. Thank you. So, um, moving, um, moving to uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Dosari, uh, can I uh, can I hear from you your perspective towards you know uh, your uh, how how is cloud uh, seen uh, in in your organization or you know across in the same sector uh, in terms of adoption? Yes. Uh, I Cloud the solution, it's a good option, but since we are uh, um, uh, like uh, regulated by SAMA, uh, our central bank of Saudi Arabia, so we have a limitation. So um, the public cloud, as uh, Dr. Mustafa said, it's, it's have a restriction. So we can't have any services outside kingdom. So uh, the privacy or inside the kingdom, it's the uh, the option right now for time being, but uh, uh, soon we will hear about multiple companies that, um, uh, that, for example, Alibaba. We hear the 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 G Suites and others. Uh, I think they will have presence in, inside Saudi Arabia. Uh, after that, I think a lot of movement and transformation will be happen and will be uh, moved uh, faster. Thank you. So uh, again, uh, uh, your your take on the hybrid model, Currently, uh, in, in, in terms of its long term, you know, implications. Uh, yeah, currently we are on a prem. Uh, we don't have any services on a cloud, but no, no. Uh, in future we will we'll be on in hybrid model, of course. No, hybrid work model, and not the hybrid. I'm, I'm talking of the hybrid work model. Uh, is uh, is it um, is it implemented in uh, in terms of you know? Workforce. Yes, hybrid mode uh, working. It's it's uh, it's not a choice for now. What happened yeah. after the pandemic? It's give us one way to move forward, and uh, the pandemic give or open a new uh, even uh, a new channel uh, channels. For example, uh, now maybe you can hear uh, you hear that uh, like a new position uh, came like a virtual. Uh, Positions like being CISO or working from home uh, positions that is required just a machine uh, that the laptop or router from the company configured and you just uh, use it. So this option uh, it's a it's the trend now. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Farhan. Uh, can can you tell us about the you know the importance of uh, you know the the significance of security concerns when uh, when a lot of people are working uh, out of homes uh, you know the hybrid work model is uh, kind of in place with a lot of organizations so uh, how how important is it to you know ensure data security uh, and the kind of focus around that in terms of solutions uh, actually nowadays the cloud the word cloud and cloud uh, computing is the uh, main uh, traditional, it becomes like a traditional uh, word in, in the market right now. Everybody's talking about the cloud, even kitchens. There is now something called cloud kitchens uh, where they can cook and uh, deliver through the uh, delivery uh, companies. Um, when you are talking about Banking sector. Banking se sectors is regulated by SAMA, as uh, my colleagues uh, mentioned, 
and they are so restricted about the customer data and uh, all uh, all needed security. Now, until now, it's not yet proven 100% that the cloud is secure. So this is why currently most of the security companies, they are working to enhance the security tools they have to adopt it to uh, manage the security on the on the cloud. Uh, plus, having the cloud inside Saudi Arabia for uh, uh, the as per the regulator, uh, it, it gives the the instruction from Sana that anybody is is uh, want to use the cloud, uh, the cloud must be hosted in Saudi Arabia. Uh, at least to maintain the uh, needed security within the uh, country itself. Uh, there is a lot of reg regulations about that. So uh, not yet, I can say for now, it's not yet 100% sure like the on-prem security. Uh, but I believe within the next couple of years, uh, security will be uh, more in, in cloud, will be uh, moved to cloud. And it will be more enhanced than than now. Uh, this is why uh, most of the companies, when they are selling their applications, they are based on cloud right now. You can have it uh, from the uh, cost of, uh, efficiency. It will be less cost than having it in, on prem. Uh, Mr. So Farhan, I believe... uh, can I just can I just uh, you know. Uh... Can I just intervene? You know, just to make the you know, uh, you those those are your apprehensions about. I feel uh, about the cloud uh, not being as secure as on-prem. I'm not sure if everyone agrees uh, uh, in the panel. Uh, uh, you know, the vendors obviously wouldn't agree. You know, with that because they they, they are working on that and they have uh, brought those solutions to market, which uh, which make the cloud very secure. Uh, I, I I think so. That if anybody wants to join in and have uh, Dr. Mustafa, if you if you want to. I think it's a, it's a, we are not going to argue about their security, yeah. whether they are secure or not. Yeah. But we are saying the regulation for the time being is not allowing to uh, to use the public cloud. And let's yeah. put it this way, it will be uh, safer than uh, yeah, much uh, better. getting into the details. Okay, okay. thank and, you. And also I want to add one point here about yeah. how secure is, uh, nothing is secure 100%. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we hear that, the big uh, security company has been breached. Yeah, and that's, all that's the issue. about the chain manage, uh, chain uh, supply chain attacks that's happened. So, uh, putting our control in our cloud space, it's very important. I know the companies are trying to put uh, on improving their security, but the, at the end, we need to put our security solution in place. Mm. If I may add also, this is, uh, ad, ad, uh, you know, adopting the cloud uh, is, the, I think there is a difference between the private and government uh, section. You know, maybe mm. the private uh, sector are much more uh, open to adopt the cloud than, uh, and, uh, than the government. Government, mm. they have their own restricted uh, policy and procedure. Uh, uh, th therefore, probably adopting the cloud for the private sector is much more easier than uh, government sector. Yeah, I agree. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Shivakumar. Uh, uh, how is the cloud adoption uh, in your organization and the confidence towards cloud? Yeah. Actually, yes, we will uh, actually can say the business wish want to get into this, but you know, the regulation. As uh, uh, Mr. Farhan and Mohammed mentioned this, we, we come to get into the same business uh, financial institute, heavily regulated by our regulators. So we just follow what is, you know, the rules and regulations drawn by our uh, regulator. So we can't go beyond that. But it is a, 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 at least it's getting matured day by day. It is really, you know, even uh, uh, a lot of Big uh, organizations are moving into the cloud-based uh, business to reach mm -hmm. the customers as uh, you know quickly. 
but it's good. Uh, it's getting matured uh, day by day. Even our regulator also, you know, some powers from the scene uh, go with the private cloud, and gradually things may change in their you know regulation. Their relaxation comes. We can leap into you know cloud based solution completely going forward. That there, there is uh, good opportunities you know going forward is there actually, but for at the moment is there are restrictions which we cannot just get into this uh, and be open to the global market uh, going into the cloud basis but we can achieve by this you know you have a hybrid like private cloud which you can host it in uh, within the kingdom which you can uh, as uh, any time you can get into this uh, cloud based business uh, what you can have private cloud thank you thank you uh, shogumar um, so obviously we have kind of touched on different aspects, uh, uh, you know. But I I, I hope uh, all, all of you agree on that. You know, do you do you think that the cloud is uh, is the gateway to sustained digital transformation? Would you would you say that? You know, without without obviously adopting many aspects of the cloud, uh, it'll be difficult to you know I believe further this. That from my side, I believe yeah. the future is cloud. Hmm. Uh, everybody is, is moving from the vendor sides, from uh, even some customers, some services is based on, on cloud uh, right now. And even uh, some big names, uh, they already dropped their on-prem uh, products and have it fully on cloud with more features, more capabilities. So uh, digitalization is, is the uh, uh, is one way to implement the services uh, nowadays uh, will be based on cloud. I believe within a couple of years, we will see a lot of changes from what we have right now, uh, what we can see right now, but a big move and it will be based on, on cloud. This is what I think. Thank you. Mr. Dosri, would you like to add something? The future of cloud, uh, as you see it, uh, you know. Uh, uh, just to drop back, can you repeat? Uh, come back. No, no. Me? See, uh, would would you would you would you agree that the cloud is kind of you know uh, is the uh, stepping stone to you know uh, you know making sure that the digital transformation you are you are uh, on the digital tra transformation journey firmly. Yes. Yes. Um, Cloud, uh, cloud computing, it's like, uh, let's say it's a future. It's a, it's old, but now it's more improved the SaaS and BAS uh, services available. So uh, it's give a good step to move to the uh, transformation, digital transformation. You have the base and also will be uh, cost effective if, if you will, uh, it will calculate it as a return on investment in the future. Mm. Uh, so I think uh, we have uh, kind of you know touched on all aspects as I just mentioned. So thank you all uh, for joining us uh, today for the session. Thank you all for your perspectives. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank you. Thanks, Alan.